Hi guys, Jen here. I just wanted to come in and show you my little mini haul for the week from Acme that I supplement my monthly shopping with. The things that I can't buy a month's worth of because I don't have storage or because it would go bad. Um, also, I've told you before I take advantage of every week Acme offers new coupons, freebies, um, trial things. I have rewards so I get free stuff and I don't want to miss out on that. So once a week I go and I see what I can get for a good price. So let me show you what I got. Oh, but before I do that, like, subscribe, share, hit the bell icon, do all of those things, help out my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. So then you'll see all the videos that I come out with and you can help me move this channel along. So here we go. I'm gonna show you what I got at Acme today. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. This stuff was not on sale, but I needed it. It's, you know, the produce that I can't buy ahead of time and I can't seem to figure out how much I need per week. So anyway, or I mean per month, not per week. I could try and do it two weeks ahead, but by the time you get to the end of the two weeks, it's just not that good and that's not worth it to me. So I'm going in anyway for my free stuff. Might as well get some produce. So this week I'll be having green beans and Brussels sprouts. I do think they were on sale. They are $5 a bag, which didn't seem too bad. And I will just cook them together on a pan with some olive oil, salt, and pepper and just roast them and then I'll divide them up for my meal prep. I got a spaghetti squash because I haven't had this in a while. I love it. I'm going to do some ground turkey with this and maybe some diced tomatoes and um, maybe I'll do a video showing you how I cook this because this one has um, gives people some trouble sometimes and it's so simple and so good and it was this was on sale. It was only 99 cents a pound which is a good price around here. These I'm just going to have with my burger tonight. You know, instead of a bun, I just put it on top of some of this baby kale or some arugula or something. I might make salad jars, but I really only got the lettuce and tomatoes, which is fine with me. I'll do that in a protein and I don't, you know, a simple salad is fine with me. So I may do that. But these were buy one, get one free. So here we are with two of them. Plus, the kale, I can throw in with my eggs in the morning, like just throw that in a pan. Even the arugula, really, you can just cook it up, whatever. You can add it to a lot of things and it's good for you. These apples, I'm gonna tell you about these. These are Granny Smith apples, and I don't know if you can see the size of them, but they are about a palm-sized apple. That is a normal sized apple serving of an apple, whatever. The apples they had on sale today were Granny Smith that were not bagged like this. They were just loose. And they had, I think, like the, the Pink Ladies or the Fujis or whatever. They were huge. They were three times the size of this, which means they were bred kind of or grown to be huge like that. And that was those apples were like three servings a piece. I didn't want that because I watch what I eat and how much. And I didn't want to be cut. You can't save an apple. You can't like have a third of an apple. So I may have spent a little bit more, but to me it was worth it to have normal sized apples. Plus what do they have to do to those other ones to make them the size of my head? I, I don't know. But anyway, so that was my apple story. So eggs, we always need more eggs. These were free. It seems like every week with my rewards, I can get free eggs. So that works out. I'll buy what I can fit in my refrigerator for my month haul. And when they run out, I've been buying them a dozen at a time, which seems to be perfectly fine, um, you know, to get through the week with what I have left um, to just supplement. And they're free, so why not? And then I was given a choice of any two cans of beans for free. So I got black beans because I use them in a lot of my Mexican style meals. Um, these tater tots were on clearance so my family really likes these so I decided since they were on clearance I will buy one for each week for next month because I will be doing my month shopping this week at some point so I thought these are probably better than BJ's so I you know I don't hoard things when they're on clearance 
but I bought what I needed. I will use, I will plan my meals that once a week for the month, we have tater tots with a meal. So that's why I bought four bags. Um, these I bought because hardly anyone carries these huge straws like this. And this is what I like with my shakes and with my um, energize in the morning. I don't know, the straw size makes a difference and these are my favorite ones. And if you don't like people that use plastic straws, then you better just leave now because I use plastic straws. I'm sorry to all you non-straw using people. That's how it is. Okay, dog food. My dog does not like wet dog food, but I live on the same farm as my mom who has two dogs and my sister who has three dogs who don't get sick when they eat wet food. And this particular food was on sale with a coupon and it was a freebie. So Acme actually paid me to buy it. So they owed me a dollar for buying this can of dog food. So I couldn't very well just leave it there. So it will get rehomed, but that's okay. And then this loofah was free. I'm not a huge fan of loofahs so because I don't know, I feel like they hold on to bacteria and stuff, but um, you know, use it for a little bit and then toss it. But you know, it was a freebie, so we took it. This, I have been a long time Tide user. Nothing else, I wouldn't use anything else except for Dreft maybe with when my kids are babies. Like I felt like nothing else got stains out, nothing else worked well. Then one day, this was on sale I've tried Arm & Hammer before, but never the sensitive skin kind. Sean needs the no fragrance, plus I hate when my clothes smell like anything. So all you gain lovers out there, I'm sorry. I can smell you coming a mile away. I can smell your laundry, and I don't know why I don't like that smell. But anyway, <laughs> um, so sorry to all of you who use gain, but I, I don't like my clothes to smell like anything. Um, so... I tried this and I love it and it's worked well and it's gotten stains out and it's way cheaper than Tide and today it was half price. So I got two more and I I would have probably bought more except that I had found it for like, I think I found it for 99 cents or something and bought a whole bunch of them. So I just got two to replace the two I just used so I don't want to be that person that has like 800 bottles of detergent because it was cheap. So I just got two. And then my waters for the week, I drink, I try to drink a gallon a day. I had a coupon that gave me a few cents off each bottle, so I saved about $2 here. Um, I know I could probably do better with a filter or whatever the case may be, but using these gallon jugs here helps me to keep track of my water intake and you know, I just like it. I don't, and I don't, I won't refill them. Some people refill them. I don't know. I feel like bacteria grows in there. Like I just, I don't want to refill them. And so I buy them and I don't know how you feel about that, but these are my water seven for the week. So obviously I don't, I mean, maybe that's not obvious, but I don't have the storage for a month's worth of water for everyone. It's crazy. I do think I'm going to buy a Brita though for the household because I'm tired of water bottles being left half empty. It drives me crazy. Can you guys feel me on that? So here is my haul from Acme. It was right around $50. And I think that was pretty good for everything that I got. You don't know, what do you guys think? There it is. So that was my haul for today. I'm going to start dinner and get that on the table and I think tonight let's see this is Saturday night um, tonight I have movie night with my girls so that's something we do every other weekend it's just the three of us and tonight we are watching beaches I think so if you guys have any suggestions for movie night for myself and my two daughters who are 11 and 14 let me know um, we're not like, I don't know. There's some things that I will let them watch with me that I probably wouldn't let them watch by themselves just because like it gives us a reason to talk about certain things, but I do try to keep it, not try, we definitely don't watch anything rated higher than PG-13 and those are kind of iffy sometimes. 
So thank you guys. I have to go because Sean is calling me from the potty. Hey guys, it's the next day. We just got back from church and I wanted to show you my the food storage that I'm trying to build up just a little bit and how we utilize a small space to have a little bit of extra in case anything were to happen that either the store was out of stuff or maybe you know like what if we had to go a week without a paycheck or you know whatever might come up that you just want to have some extra food on hand I'll show you what I have and how I store it and I just want to say I don't think anyone should go out like panic shopping so that's why when I go to the store whatever we would normally eat I'll just get a little extra of some of the things if it's in my budget to do so not a ton and then little by little over time like rotate it out and build it up so I use my pantries as working pantries I don't have long-term food storage it's just I've been buying I'm trying to buy for the month and then maybe a little bit extra just for the just in case you know um, so the other thing is is I will when something goes on sale like a really good sale that's something I could store you know that lasts a while I will pick it up I won't go crazy but I'll pick up a good amount of it because you know it's on a really good price and it's something we eat anyway I don't buy things just because they're on sale and I yeah and I won't buy things that we won't eat um, like we don't eat canned vegetables except for when I make specific things at the holidays so I do have some canned vegetables but they've either been given to me or I bought them because they were cheap and I know I can use them at the holidays but I won't buy more of them um, the only canned vegetables we really use are beans and I do want to stock up on those because I'm running kind of low the diced tomatoes corn but we don't do like our you know like our green vegetables and stuff I buy frozen so I actually do have a chest freezer that I try to stock up um, with frozen vegetables and things I can't do a lot extra on my frozen stuff because I only have the one small freezer with my fridge it's a side-by-side -side and it's so small um, that wasn't even good for us for weekly shopping and then I have my chest freezer and since I'm buying for a month that's basically all I can hold in there a, a few extra things but not a lot so let me show you what I'm talking about so today I had to run out and get something for my girls and I and I was at Weiss and I'm getting ready to do my month shopping and one of the things they requested was mac and cheese and lo and behold they had mac and cheese on sale 29 cents a box so I bought a ton of boxes but probably just enough for the month to do um, you know the meals that I have planned where I'm gonna use the mac and cheese and I realized it'd be much better if I made it myself and I do make it myself at the holidays but this is quick and easy and it's one of those meals that like when you're running short on time you can just whip together really fast with very few ingredients and I have to say that you know everything in me says no don't give this to your children <laughs> but the ingredients are really not that bad considering what it is there's no added sugar it's a little high in um, sodium but overall this product is not really all that bad so I was pretty happy they're 29 cents a box and then over here is where I keep my chest freezer so it's just part of the decor of the kitchen like I can't home oh, someone left their mess from lunch out I can't worry too much about that but it's you know once something's here you kind of forget about it or it just becomes part of the kitchen and you don't notice that it's like an eyesore or anything and honestly I use it now as like a buffet when we have parties we put stuff up there like it's so useful it's like I use it as another table so I don't worry about that so much okay so now I'm gonna bring you into my master bathroom which I happen to have great storage in here. I'm gonna show you something. But this is where I've converted the linen closet into food storage, and I'll show you why. I, you just, my shame is coming over me because I'm gonna show you one area of storage, and I know it's a mess because my husband and I just keep our sweatshirts and stuff in there, and it's just like a disaster. But whatever, I want you to see how I utilize the space. So here's the bathroom. You can see, like, I have a double vanity here like a ton of drawers so we've got good storage for towels all of the things in here 
I also have a vanity that has storage in it. And then I have this. This was this was my closet of shame because look, like there's just stuffed with sweatshirts and stuff. And that's just how all of them look. Um, but it's a lot of storage. And then right next to it, I have a big linen closet. And this is what I have converted into my mini food storage area. So in here, it looks like a lot, but keep in mind there's five of us. And so this really isn't a whole, whole lot, but I'm very slowly just building it up. Um, so we've got, you know, some of our condiments, some peanut butter, and you can see like, obviously it was on sale. So I bought what they had. Um, BJ stuff, this I got like on such a good deal on Amazon. And it's hard to sometimes find a good gluten-free flour that you don't have to add anything to to make it work when you bake. And um, it's expensive normally. And this, I they came in packs of four. I got two boxes of that because um, we do use it a lot. And so, you know, I was pretty happy about that. And then I think you saw this from before. This is all my very cheap clearance pasta that we got. We hit the half off sales for snacks. These were gluten free. They looked really good. These, my kids call them bird crackers, but I think they're good. Um, the Nature Valley bars, I've shown you those. We've already gone through so many. Remember how many I bought? Look, this is all that's left. It's just a few boxes. Um, so they like those. My kids also love these bobas. I, you can get them on a really good price on Amazon. Um, and sometimes Home Goods and Marshalls has them too. And then canned stuff. I need to stock up. I've used up most of my tuna and chicken. I'm actually going to use this right now because I'm going to make some pasta salad for the week um, with chicken. That's like a good lunch. My husband likes that and um, the kids. And um, so I make a bunch for the week. Let's see. I'm going to use this tonight because we're having family dinner and we're doing just hot dogs and shells and cheese. So I obviously won't use all 12 boxes, but there are a lot of people and this is like a main part of the dinner. So this will get used up, but that's what I mean. Like this is a working pantry. I'm not like storing stuff for long term. So I need to constantly be replacing it, but it is good to have this backup. Um, laundry detergent was on sale. I think I told you guys that in another video. I've started using this and I'm very happy with it. And I was loyal tied follower forever but this works great and it's much cheaper and then this we do not eat cereal <laughs> but we have a lot of it but here's the thing this cinnamon toast crunch I will give this to my kids as a treat every once in a while if they want it um and honestly they don't come in here and ask for it and my husband sometimes wants it so he'll take he'll take a box here and there but it's good for so long and I got these on sale for like a dollar a box but you had to buy 10 or something so it's like, what difference does it make? Let's see, I think it's good. Yeah, it's good for a year. So I, th I think in a year we'll get through it, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then, you know, I just have my kids craft stuff down here. Oh, and some chips. We're on our last bag of tortilla chips. We're in trouble. But, you know, our month shopping is coming up. Okay, so that's it. That's my food storage in a small space. We live in, it's like a 1,700 square foot rancher home so and there's five of us so that's not huge um and I have a lot of clothes and I have two girls they have a lot of clothes so our closets are pretty well used up when I when I store up water which I'll probably start doing again like bottles of water you can always use under your bed now not in my girls room because they put stuff under their beds because you know there's still some toys and there's my other daughter collects books and they don't have a bookshelf so there under the beds are pretty full, but Sean's got space under his bed. I've got space under my bed. We have a laundry room where we can stack up some waters. So you just have to get creative and look for spots to put things. And then you're like a little more prepared. I do have a little bit of um, extra paper products. We don't use paper towels and we don't use paper plates or napkins. So the only thing we use paper product wise is um, toilet paper. So I do have some extra toilet paper out in my shed. Um, but other than that, that's it. That's our storage. 
thank you guys for watching and please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. Let me know what you think of these videos and I will talk to you later. Bye.